Hi. Um, so I feel like it's something that uh, I've been working towards forever, really, like since I started skiing. But it's been really the last five years, five, six years that I've put all of my efforts into um, becoming an Olympic skier. That's when, after I graduated from high school, I was like, this is what I'm pursuing. Can I get you? The hardest part is the work it takes. I think um, it takes a ton of effort uh, just to get strong enough and a ton of practice skiing and it's really hard on your body. Um, it's really challenging to be away from home for that long. But it's also, I think the most challenging part is when things don't go your way. It's really hard to get yourself fired up um, for the next race and to fix the errors that you're making. Hi, my name is Ellen, and my question is, what's the difference between a downhill ski race and a super junior? Good question. So the downhill is the fastest event. Um, they pretty much take a trail and they put a couple gates on it to make it, uh, like, to guide you down the trail. But a Super G uh, has more turns, and it has a little bit less speed. So instead of going 80, you're going, like, 60 to 70, um, and you are turning more. Downhill, you're just pretty much going straight. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I chose skiing because, well, I got into skiing because uh, of my family, and then I formed a really good group of friends, and so I think that I really, that made me really like skiing, um, and then I didn't really want to do another winter sport. So I played a little hockey, and I, we would fool around with snowboarding, but skiing was always the most of my friends were, so that's where from a young age, that's always the winter sport that I wanted to do. Yeah. Hello, my name is Sunny, and I want to know about age. Oh, hey. Um, so I have done a lot of research into the, when you get to a high level of Especially sport, the mental aspects um, are really important. So last year, I really wanted to dial in my um, mental game, not just uh, my ability skiing. And so I did a lot of research on um, how to best prepare myself mentally for a ski race. And I came across eight by this guy named Brian Kane, who um, is a sports psychologist. Uh, so I read a bunch of his books and tried to apply it to my own ski racing career. What's the hardest part? What's the hardest part about it? About eight. Um, what's, what do you think is the hardest part about this? I think the attitude portion is the hardest part. It's really easy for me to work hard, and when you work hard, you're preparing yourself well. But to have a really good attitude uh, every day, especially when things aren't going your way, is a choice, and it takes a lot of energy um, to do that. And it's also, I think, the most important part to have a really good attitude. Otherwise, there's no point of really being there. Yeah. When I ski, uh, that's a that's a really good question. 
question. I, when I ski, I am always constantly um, trying to feel my skis under me, my feet in the ground, and so I'm always working on something. But when I ski, it gives me more joy than any other aspect of um, sport or Please do have your attention. Like, I feel like that much happiness when I do it Morning, correctly. Morning, Christmas, Dominic. My name is Joanna Longlet. I am. Please invite you to listen as we read the morning. Sorry, we're being interrupted by our Please welcome our guest teacher, Debbie A. We'll continue. One second here. Audience. You guys should. Mrs. Henderson, Miss Longlet, Mrs. Lawrence, Mrs. Kara. And let's go over today. Today's special announcements are Tuesday's election today from grade four and five. This is Buckley. Some providing major visits to Karnowski. Some providing 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 visits to just to clarify, today game day is canceled today as Mrs. Tarnowski is not in the building. Thank you. Okay, we're ready to go. Sorry for the interruption. No worries. Who are you? Uh, yeah, I think that is a natural feeling when you there's been some races that I wish I could go back to and do again because I didn't approach them right, the right way or I made a mistake but I think it's important that when you feel that way you change you look at what you can take out of it and make sure that you apply it to the next event where so it doesn't happen again um that's hey guys guys the learning from your mistakes that matter because uh, you can never go back and change them you can only prepare for to prevent future mistakes. Yeah. Who are you laughing at in the background there? Me? Yeah. There's a, I'm in a, I'm actually at our gym right now. I'm in a conference room and someone just walked by and made a funny face at me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's a really good question, and that's a big part of uh, sport, especially skiing, because it's a dangerous sport when we're going so fast and we have so much on the line. I've had some really bad concussions from falling um, that took me a while to get over a lot of residual effects um, from them. And then I recently just got a scope on my knee um, and got a, that my knee was causing me a lot of pain, so I've got to clean that up essentially. Um, I think that just doing what you can to make yourself better is important uh, for you to understand. So like right now I'm rehabbing my knee, and but I know that if I put in the work to rehab it properly, it's going to be better than it was before, and then I'm going to be better off. And then it's trusting that you've done the work. That is our that's our bell that's our bell. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it though. My name is Andrew. Yeah, I think that um, to get to the Olympic level, a lot of people have gone the way, and if we can pass along what we learn to future generations, it's only um going to uh, enable them the best they can be. Yeah. Hi. 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 Um, and my question is, what's your biggest passion other than skiing? My biggest passion other than skiing? Um, I don't know if it would be an actual uh, activity or anything, but I'm very close with my family. It's really important to me um, to be 
uh, you know, a good member of my family, and I'm very passionate about anything out the outdoors. So whether it's hiking or um, biking, I find a lot of joy in those activities. Hi, my name is Lewis, and my question is, uh, who inspired you to be an outdoor I think that I was mostly inspired by my older sister, um, Maddie. She's four years older than me, and she was really good, and I always wanted to uh, chase her down the mountain and beat her. Um, so I would follow her around, and then when I got older and got better, it was um, no one in particular. It was more just the desire to be the best and be the best that I could be that uh, keeps me motivated. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, my name is Ethan from Instagram yesterday. Yeah, hi, Ethan, what's up? Hi. Uh, she's from Instagram. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, Ethan. Do you do any other things, or would you do any other things besides the health care school? I was really interested growing up in lacrosse. Um, if I didn't ski race, I probably would have tried to play lacrosse in college. Um, right now, my biggest focus is skiing, but I think as um, we get older and we look to your longevity in skiing, it's not a lifetime career, it's a small portion of your life. So. The next phase of my life, I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. It's something I'm trying to, <laughs> to figure out. So it's I don't really know what my next passion is going to be. You guys were chatting with her on Instagram yesterday? Yeah, we had a conversation. <laughs> How awesome is that? <laughs> I had a flat tire in the middle of Utah. They're entertaining. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> they, weren't, they weren't trying to help you. Fix your flat, were they? No. I mean, he was like, I have no idea. I really like to, I'm, where I live in New Hampshire, there's a lot of water. So I really like to water ski um, and make surf, uh, which is you surf behind the water ski boat. You make it really big. And then there's some beautiful hikes that I like to do. Um, but since I travel so much, I try to spend a lot of time with my family when I'm not ski racing, like when I'm not on the road. Hi, my name is Ava, and I was wondering what inspired your family 